What's up, guys? Baker here. Man, it's been a while. Um, today I've got I'm gonna call this um, animated arrows, and it's basically these um, cool arrow-looking thingies I used a long time ago, and I uh, just figured I I'd show it since it's pretty easy, and I think it looks pretty cool, and it's got some cool tricks that you can use and stuff. So, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna have our you know, main composition, composition, and, you know, we're going to have things like, um, you know, your clip, and you're going to have your song, which I don't have right now, and if you want, you can have a motion-tracked camera. So let's say your uh, clip is motion-tracked, and you want an arrow, uh, you know, on the wall and lighting up and stuff, and that's what I had, and it looked pretty cool and, and stuff. And yeah, so you'll have some things like this, and you want to make the arrow, so that's the main part of this tutorial. So let's do that. So we'll make a new composition, and uh, we'll make a new composition. Comp, uh, whatever. We'll call it arrow. Okay, enough of the jokes. All right, so we're gonna make our arrow in this composition. Um, let's go ahead and just take a text tool and just type in X and you want to pick a nice blocky font the font I like is typograph pro extra bold to make this nice uh, X you can uh, use different ones but they don't look as good so that one alright so we'll go to uh, full res here and we'll zoom in and I'm going to mask out some of the X so I'm going to take my pen tool and click about here nope delete make sure your layer selected click about here and then over here and then up here and then back around boom 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 so that's cut off now we just need to refine our mask let's go ahead and take our uh, point and click on it and then just, just use the arrow keys up and down and left and right to sort of position it where you think it should be so try to get it right on the corner again using the arrow keys pretty good and then just refine this one and that looks good nice clean arrow boom alright so since it's pointing this way I want it to animate right to left so first I'm going to place this layer on the right side for now let's animate the flashing so push T for opacity and let's zoom in on our timeline and I'm gonna keyframe at 100. I'm gonna go forward to about 20 frames. Keyframe it down to zero. And then let's go to 35, and then another keyframe at zero. And you'll see why in a second. Um, to make this loop, instead of just trying to copy the keyframes over and over, we're gonna use expression. So hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. In our expression box, we got a helper right here, the little arrow with the circle. And we're going to go down to property and then go down, up, down, up to loop out. Not loop out duration, just loop out. Click that and then let it go. And then you'll see that it'll fade off, stay fade off, and then pop back on, fade off, and so on. And let's also easy ease all these keyframes a little bit. All right. Cool, so it flashes, so it works. So what I'm gonna do now is take our layer, we're gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna move forward five frames. So I'm gonna go to frame five. I'm going to snap the layer over using the begin bracket or open bracket. There we go. And then hold shift and use the arrow keys to slide your layer over. And um, this also makes it uh, the same height and keeps the distances between them uh, consistent so you never want to use your mouse if you're trying to make it you know all perfect and stuff so we'll go to 10 frames I'll duplicate snap it over and slide it over with the arrow keys again and then I'll make another one duplicate snap slide and there you go so we get four things um, the the reason why I had this little pause down here is because I wanted everything to fade off before the next lights came in. So if this was earlier, you'd see something like this, and it could get kind of 
you know, uh, weird if everything is popping on at the same time. So make sure everything kind of fades off first, and then uh, you know, then loop it. And that's basically it. You can uh, keep adding more. So I can go to this last frame is 15. We can go to 20. And if you can't see exactly, you can always use the uh, time indicator over here. Just click on it and then type what time you want to go to. So maybe 25 frames. And it slides perfectly over. So next one will be 20. Duplicate, snap, slide over. And uh, now we got five of them. So that's pretty cool. So that's basically it. So you just go into your uh, main composition here, bring out your arrow, and um, let me turn these off so you can actually see it. So you can uh, have this 3D tracked and have this on the wall and things you can do, you know, you can add a, a fill to colorize it. So maybe you want a nice neon, um, oops, fill should not go on there, should go on the arrow. So you have like, let's say you have a nice neon, you know, blue. And um, we can add a glow, nice glow, something like this. Set it to add so it's like really bright, and um, looks pretty cool. And you can probably use something like this for not just COD, um, some cool motion graphics, and um, I don't know, it just looks so you know mesmerizing. So maybe put like a, a kaleidoscope effect and see what this does so like whoa look at this maybe get some cool things something whoa yeah I don't know so anyways go ahead and mess around I think it looks pretty cool if you have any questions or other uh, new tutorials you want to see just let me know and that's about it so yeah whoa. go ahead and like the video favorite comment Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Okay, I'm done. Okay, peace.